Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. If you've been working with degrees and radians, chances are you've been curious, is there any way I can do this on my calculator? And the good news is, there is, you know, the calculator is a very good tool for switching back and forth between degrees and radians. Um, there are a few different buttons you have to make sure you press along the way, but let's go ahead and do some examples and you see that it's uh, not too bad of a problem. So we want to use our calculator to convert uh, this radian measure into degrees. So let's go ahead and grab those calculators. All right, the first thing that you want to do is set the proper mode. You can find the mode button just right here next to the uh, second button. And you'll notice that uh, it can be set to radians or degrees. You want to set it to whatever you're converting it into. So since we're turning these into degrees, we're going to set our calculator to degree mode. All right, so enter, looks like degree is set, back to our home screen. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna give it this measure, we're gonna tell it that it's a radian measure, and the calculator will automatically convert it into the proper degrees. So let's go ahead and type that in. So I have 29 pi divided by 15. And you'll notice I'm putting all of that inside of parentheses. Now I'm gonna tell the calculator that this is a radian measure. So I'm gonna to go to second angle, and I'm going to go down a little bit and give it that little r. That's how the calculator knows that this is really in radians. Since the mode of the calculator is in degrees, though, as soon as I press enter, it's going to convert this value, and now it's in degrees. So this is uh, 348 degrees. Now that one you probably could have converted pretty easily by multiplying by 180 divided by pi, but hey, the calculator works pretty good as well. Uh, let's do this again with something that's a little bit more difficult. This is 3.456. So I'm going to set another uh, set of parentheses, 3.456. Close parentheses. Uh, second angle, so I can tell it that it's currently in radians. And I'll press Enter. So this one gives me 198.014214. There's our degrees. Now in case uh, someone wants you to also put that into degrees, minutes, and seconds, uh, you can do that. You want to go to second angle, look for your converting option, degrees, minutes, seconds. There we go. So I'm going to take the answer I got before, convert it, and now I have my degrees, minutes, and seconds. So 198 degrees, uh, 0 minutes and 51.17 seconds. Uh, let's just round that to be about, about 1 minute. Not bad. All right, now if you can follow those steps, you can also go the other direction. Let's go ahead and do that for a few more examples. So like before, we need to make sure that our mode is set to whatever we're converting it into. In this case, we want it set to radians. Let's clear all of this out. Go into mode, radians. All right, second quit. And now we, we go through essentially the same process, but we're gonna tell the calculator, hey, here's 49 in degrees, and it will automatically convert it into radians. All right, so there's 49 degrees, second angle. We're gonna give it the little degree marker, press enter, and the calculator will do the conversion part. So 0 0.855, uh, let's go ahead and round it there. So about, uh, 0 0.855 radians. Now this also works if you're dealing with something that is in degrees, minutes, and seconds. It'll also convert that into the proper radians. Uh, I find with this one though, I, I have to convert my minutes and seconds uh, as I go. So watch how I type this one in. I'm going to open up a set of parentheses. So there's our parentheses. Do 157 plus 40 divided by 60. So it's like I'm taking that 40 uh, minutes and saying, well, there's a total of 60 minutes and a degree, and really writing this all as degrees. All right, now let's go to second angle and tell it that uh, this is all a degree measure and press enter. So 2.75, uh, let's go ahead and round that 2.752 radians. Okay, not a bad process. Now, you may be curious, you know, you've seen some radian measures and sometimes they actually have pi written in them. 
even if they have pi, you can still use your calculator to convert them, um, but you have to kind of interpret the answer you're getting just a little bit. So it won't show up on the screen. We have to do just a little bit of work. Uh, for example, here's negative 225 degrees. And if I was to convert that into radians, I would get uh, a value, a decimal, but I can also describe it using pi a little bit cleaner. Let's see how that works. So I already have my mode properly set to radians. That's what we're turning things into. And I'm gonna type in negative 225 uh, and then give it the degrees. Second angle degrees, enter. Now this is the proper radian measure, negative uh, 3.92699817, you know, that, that's actually pretty good. But if I divide this by pi, it reveals that it may be a nice fraction as well. So I'm gonna press second, and I'm gonna press a divide by second pi, and press enter. And look at that, when I divided it by pi, I got a nice terminating decimal, it stopped. This is a clue that it really is a fraction with pi in it. What fraction is it? Well, now I can use my math button to convert this number into a fraction. That's my first option. And I see that it's negative 5 fourths. Now here's where we have to uh, uh, kind of interpret what we get. So I've taken this number, I've divided by pi, and I turned it into negative 5 fourths. That means the answer really does have a pi in it. I just removed it out of there to make the numbers a little bit cleaner. So let's go ahead and put that pi back into our answer. So this shows that negative 220 deg or 225 degrees is negative five pi over four. And you can do this with a lot of others, you know, just divide a pi out to see if it turns into a nice fraction. Um, and sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It all depends on what degrees you're working with. All right, let's give this one more try. Let's do 120 degrees, so second angle. And now I get this lovely radian measure. This one's a really nice one, so let's divide by pi. Oop. Divide by, oh, I keep doing that. Second answer, divide by pi. There we are. Look at that, 0.666 repeating, that's two thirds. Let's double check, math, fraction. Sure enough, two thirds. So this is equal to two thirds. Now let's go ahead and put that pi back in. So 120 degrees is equal to two pi divided by three. All right, so hopefully that gives you a bunch of tools on how you can get the most out of your calculator. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.